Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the New York Mets. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Joey Gallo riding a power surge coming into this one, Chris. He's homered in four straight games. He is managing to find pitches that he can barrel up and do damage with, and really that's the key for him. As long as he can get the bat to it, because he's so strong, there's a good chance that it leaves the ballpark. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll and towing the slab, David Peterson. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Stone Garrett, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And a pitch. And it's oh, even up. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And now the lefty. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. That's got a chance. And it one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just skate through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. And now it's Luis Garcia. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That is very well. the first reason. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup, and perhaps part of the game plan is to get into the bullpen as early as possible. They're facing a staff that's blown a lot of games in the later innings. Boogan is hitters. You're aware of that, but you don't want to become too relaxed and wait too late in the ball game because you never know what could happen on any given day. But with that said, even if you fall behind early, you've got a lot of confidence that this game will not be over until that final out. Joey Manessis stands in now and watches strike one. Pitch misses there, and the count even one and one. One out and a runner at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Fastball for a strike. Fights it off, you'll see another. Here comes a pitch. That's the third, Baden. Play is made to out. That is the level. And now it's Joey Gallo. And Chris, probably no other player better represents present day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, and some walks. That misses. Ball one. Really important for the pitcher to not get proud, stay with the scouting report, and don't throw something into his swing. He's kind of channeling hey. Adam Dunn. Swing and a miss as he was late. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball. Runner at second, two, two down. Here in the second game of the series. strikes he goes and that will end the inning so no runs here in a base hit no errors and one left now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game and we're 
we're back. And pitching here today, Josiah Gray. What do you have on him, Chris? Yeah, he's definitely had his struggles so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Luis Angel Acuna, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Gray, an all-star a season ago. He features a slider, a cutter, a sinker, a four-seamer, and he occasionally that's uses a, a curve. That one misses, and that's ball two. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. This to third, put the extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in to score in position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Jeff McNeil stands in. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. That's in for a strike. Runner at second, nobody out. Strike on the outside. Oh, a two now. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. He wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Here's Brandon Nimmo. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate. Only two hits over the last five games. There's a strike. Here's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, bro. Things change from game times to your daily routine, but he sure makes the transition look easy. Man at second. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Finds his way through base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. He was all over that one. Wow. I really like that swing, man. Perfect. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He oh, drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. Here's Pete Alonso. One of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. That hey. clips the corner. It's great to get on the board in the first oh, frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two. Gets a piece and stays alive. McNeil, the runner at third. Nimmo on at first with nobody out. That one. misses the zone. Gonna count one and two. One ball, two strikes to count. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging. 
Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't. That one back up the middle and it gets through. The run scores from third and they lead by two. To third, tag, got it. That's heads up play right there. The outfielder knowing he has no shot at the runner at home. So comes up trying to cut that runner off at third and does a really nice job. Got to appreciate that. Ronnie Mauricio now. Two hits in the game last night. And that one fouled off. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Not one one. close with that one, and it's one and one. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Two outs. Whoa, and another right ball. There. Back to back breaking pitches away you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you that he doesn't want to challenge you so I think the confidence level is raised right here. Righty delivers wouldn't That's chase that three. time first pitch strike from the three pitcher ball. but then One no three. panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count. Swing and a miss. And the count's full. 3-2, two, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And there's ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive. Puts a runner in the scoring position and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. First and second, two down. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Ruiz squeezes it, and that's the inning. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. We go on to inning number two. It's the Mets two and the Nationals nothing. New inning getting started. Here's Lane Thomas. The right Lane. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. On the ground, right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly to first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Now it's Nick Senzel. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. Oh, he's a good player, but if he wants to be great, he's going to have to figure it out against right-handed pitchers. There's so many right-handers in the game that you're going to see them one after another. So you would imagine with that many looks, Boog, that straight. the adjustments got to be coming soon. And that one is lifted in the air. Stewart makes the grab two away down. That is that is the catcher. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That Aye. one's in there on one. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Dylan Cruz digging in for the Nationals. 
Hard ground ball, base now. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back to back base hits. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now the shortstop, Brady House. And that is in for a strike. Four one. He was late. Strike two. Oh, I think he was sitting off speed there. Bowen Chu now. The One shortstop ball. takes two the ball. Three. for strike three. Two left on. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Mets two and the Nationals nothing. Welcome back to the ballpark. Got a batter now. Tyrone Taylor. Chris has been a good year for him, having already set a new career high for RBIs in a season. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Taylor, 30 years old now, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. Two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a pop up. Garcia makes the catch, and there's one down. Batting none. The, the third baseman. baseman. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Singing when the year's over, he'll have a new career high for RBIs in a season. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One out, base is empty. This one in the air. Under this one. He makes the grab, and there's two away. The batter, the batter number 13. 13. Shortstop, Luis Angel. Back to the top of the lineup, Luis Angel Acuna. Up now for the Mets. One for one with a double and a run scored. Check swing, no appeal. And Boog, if you shine a light on his home run numbers over the last week plus, you'll see how well he's been hitting it. That's hey. in there. And the count is one and one. Two out spaces empty. Two down, nobody on. And That's there's a ball. ball. That's a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. In the box now. No balls and a strike. Four and one. Acuna off of first with two away. 
And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Two outs. Up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw, and they can't get the out. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. One for one with a single so far. Swing it a foul straight back. Two on, two outs. That's a strike. One ball. In the two dirt. Strike. Runners hold tight. It's a ball and two strikes. And the pitch. Hey. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Two left for the Mets, but they're on top 2 nothing. Top half of the third inning, and now the DH, Stone Garrett. Peterson back to work. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The second base is Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia digs in now. Fly to left his first time. Fastball for a strike. The Mets leading by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That misses. And that is ball one. And another ball. Swing and a miss. And the count's two even at two. two strike. One down, base is empty. Oh, can't get out of the way of the fastball. And that's going to sting. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Joey Manessis, the next to hit. He's 0 for 1. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Snap throw to first. And he's back in there. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score on a ball in the gap. The Mets up by two here in the second game of the series. In the air out towards right center. Heading to the alley. Pulls it in on the run. And there are two outs. Oh, the throw is wild. Now back on left field. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a foul ball. The pitch. That one a little bit high. Ball one. And that's outside. That's the ball. There's a the swing and a miss. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. 
Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And here it comes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Now, oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Thomas in now. Takes ball one off the plate. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Nimmo raging back towards the wall. Hauls it in on the warning track. So the Nats leave a pair, and they're down 2-0. Set for the bottom of the third, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Pitch. And off that's the plate, off ball one. the inside edge. 1-0. and oh. Well, these Mets really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been that's fun closer. getting a chance to see them go to work. Looking at the numbers, they've got four hits when they're behind in the count. That says they are absolutely battling at the plate and just not giving up, despite what the count says. Kicks and fires. Outside. Oh, and now three and one. And if you're a manager or a hitting coach, you love to see your guys really fighting for every at bat, every pitch. It tells you a lot about how they showed up to the ballpark today. Swings through that one. Helpful. Payoff pitch. Three. And that's a strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Single and drove in a run his first time through. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. Cruz going back on this one. It bangs off the wall. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And they feel real good about that. Now, Ronnie Mauricio worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Next hey. offering in there for a strike. And the count, one, one and two. two Stays alive. One out and the runner at second here in the last half of the third. Inside, almost got him. Two 
shoot you on the way. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. And it's second. Hit hard on the ground to short. Gathers and throws to first. And there's two away. Now back, right fielder, DJ. Now it's DJ Stewart. That move, I'd say he's due. Pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. That's a slider for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Three. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Mets leave one, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Back here in Queens, here's the third baseman, Nick Senzel. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And another ball. This one popped up. Drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. So digging in, Hebert Ruiz. And he's already singled in this game. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now back, back. Dylan Cruz digging in for the Nationals. That Ball misses one, the no zone, three. and it's one to know. Right through there for a strike. Well, that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Ruiz stands at first with one out. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Taylor moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now that Brady. Next to hit for the Nats, Brady House. Struck out looking his first time. The shortstop takes the ball. The Nationals down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. I got one ball, one strike. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And that nope. just misses. It's a good take. Two outs. 
and he just misses and a full count now. He's really tightened it up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Bounced up the middle. Toss to Alonzo. And that is the inning. So one left for Washington. They're still down. It's two zip. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Tyrone Taylor. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. And a foul ball. Foul ball still 0 and 2. They One tried ball. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And that one missing low. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Now fly ball to right center. Cruz sizing this one up. Hauls it in for the out. One up, one down. Now batter. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. First time up was a pop out. Swing and a miss. Going one. Oh, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Left hand hitter waits. The punch out there and two away now. The batter number 13. So up next for New York, Luis Angel Acuna. Wouldn't chase that time. Count 1 and 0. Oh. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Popped up. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Good That's eye on that spot. That one misses, and the count is three and one. Look out! Yep, and it hit him. Well, that pitch right there didn't even sniff the zone. He was all out of whack on that diamond. Runner first and two away. And now here's Jeff McNeil. That's oh. down and in. Ball one, no strike. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. Side low, and yeah, that's ball two. That's and ball another three. ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 
Left hand batter waits. And ball, ball four, four to a board. The left field. So two down. Brandon Nimmo will hit next. One for two. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Right into the play. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Two left for the Mets. They're up 2 nothing. Back here at City Field. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the DH. Stone Garrett. Garrett in his third season, 28 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2014. Hey. And a swing and a miss there. Oh, one. You know, these Nationals looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. That one missed. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. In the air, left side. Nimmo grabs it on the run. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open okay. instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Garcia, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. The Mets leading by two over the top of the fifth. Comes up empty. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter into the 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. And now up for Washington, Joey Manessis. First pitch misses. Manessas into second, and he's got a double. Now bad, bad. The level of Joey Gallagher. Here's Joey Gallo. ball in there for a strike and the strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on so good job of extending this inning getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up man on second two down fought off foul Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Manessas at second with two down. 
in the air on the infield. Gets under it. Makes the catch in and over. Nationals lead one. They trail it here 2-0. And we're back. And here is Pete Alonso. The pitch. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. And the right hander deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely that's an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Alvarez, batting with one down, takes a strike. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And that one hops the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. He's in there. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One out, runner at second. And next for the Mets, Ronnie Mauricio. Foul ball there. Stays nothing in two. Runner at second here, one gone. That one to first, and it goes just foul. Man at second. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. pitch oh. off the mark there and a count one and two this one lifted in the air left field dives and makes the catch we all know about the light tower power that Joey Gallo has but now many times you overlook right his defense right there great diving catch this is a guy that takes pride on both sides of the ball DJ Stewart now at the plate. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And well, that's, that's outside. Out. Two outs. And a foul ball. Here's a 1 1. And nope. downstairs. The 2 1. This to third. Senzel over to first. And that is that. One hit, one left. We're through five. It's the Mets two and the Nationals nothing. 
Top of the sixth He's inning. Up now for Washington, right Lane Thomas. As the lefty gets to work. Slice to right. And that's a fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. And he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Next to hit for the Nats, Nick Senzel. That smash towards center. Drops into the glove. Runner tags at second. And the throws offline, safe at third. Now that the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Beatty to first, but they cut it to one as the run comes in. So important to really lock in on an at bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. Dylan Cruz digging in for the Nationals. Outside low, and that's ball one. Action in the pen down there. Drew Smith up and loosening in the pen. Adams getting loose as well. The Nets down by a run, and we're in the top half of the sixth. That one fouled off. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. And that's in the dirt. One strike. So now three and two. Started Eight. after it, tried to hold up. Now look to first, and he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. So they get one run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on. Eight, nine, one, scheduled in the bottom of the six. It's the Mets two, and the Nats one. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Mason Thompson. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Digging in, Tyrone Taylor. Here comes a pitch. Takes the corner. Strike one. Oh, and one. All these Mets putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really hey. made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Softly in the air down the line, and it stays fair. Taylor races for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. That's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. There's the strike. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Man, it's second. That's and now ball. it's even up. 1 0. Ripped on the ground a second, fires over to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. 
the batter number 13. Back to the top of the Mets order, Luis Angel Acuna getting ready to hit. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Pitchers looking for a strikeout or a ground ball, hoping to keep that runner at third. In there for strike one. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. And he deals. One ball. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate. on the outside but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely and that takes quick strong wrist to pull that off and stepping in for New York Jeff McNeil hey. that one finds the zone and that is strike one man at first one away Throws over. Acuna back in on a dive. Right handed reliever. There's a swing and a drive. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. In to score from first. It's 4 1. Comes through with the RBI. Out contact leads to the double. Tell it had extra bases written all over it as he jumped off of the stick. Now the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. That's in there. That's strike one. All ones that count. One out and a runner at second. This one in the air center field. Sizes this one up. He's got it. Two down. Throw and it gets away. Now bad. First base. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Pete Alonso. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, strike one, one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. The one, one is outside and it's a ball and a strike. And a pitch. Swing and a base hit. McNeil headed home. He'll score easily. It's 5 1. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now, Dylan Floro taking over on the mound. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. So up next for New York, Francisco Alvarez. Three for threes, doubled twice and single. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
hit in the air center field moving under this one and he makes the catch and that'll do it three runs on four hits no errors and one left off seventh inning coming up it's the Mets five and the Nats one Welcome now, back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Tyler McGill hasn't pitched in the last three days. Brady House digs in now. The Nationals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. Yeah. Gets the corner. That's strike one. Righty delivers. Hey. Ball one, ball. one there. Two, oh, two pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. The one two. That's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going. And here it comes. Up the middle, a sliding stop, and he beats it. He's safe. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. So the batting order turns over. Stone Garrett will hit next. One for three. Line drive. Caught. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. Here's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. There's the strike. 95 of that one. Two down, nobody on. Here, the top half of inning number seven. That's inside, and it's a ball to strike. And it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fouls it off, still one and two. And that skips in the dirt. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat and another ball wow this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run I love his tenacity this one popped up Calls it in to end the inning.
We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jordan Weems. Well, walks have certainly been an issue for him this season, so we'll see what kind of command he has. Ronnie Mauricio now at the plate. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time on. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. And that one wrapped foul. At the belt and fires. That one, one way inside. Two, Straighten him up a little bit. The one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. Yeah. Caught him looking for the K. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside yeah, corner yeah, yeah. for that backwards the K right you. there. I think the he hitter did. saw it all the way coming from that opposite yeah. arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Now it's the right fielder, DJ Stewart. Ball nope. one and a pitch inside. inside. Next offering is in for a strike. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. Pulls it in and the warning track. Now So up next, Tyrone Taylor. Clips the corner. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. The 0 2. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Mets five and the Nats one. Back here in Queens, ready to begin the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Joey Manessis. The right-hander back to work. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Up next to Washington. The left oh, Joey Gallo Joey digging in for the Nationals. Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Stewart pulls that one down, two down. Now bad at right field. Two Lane. outs, bases empty. Tom. Lane Thomas getting ready to hit. Go, Foul ball. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Oh, and that's, that's off inside. the inside edge. And that's ball one. The Nets down by four. And we're in the top of the eighth. 
nope. and that's outside okay. two and one. Lifted in the air right center field. Taylor moving under it. Makes the play and it's out number three. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Richard Blyer. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And now, Brett Beatty. The third baseman. The pitch. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. Really nice no job to get your first down to the ball game. Luis Angel Acuna up now for the Mets. Three for three with two singles and a double. Just missed. Blyer, in his eighth season, he features a sinker, a cutter, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a four seamer. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And now the lefty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two up, two down. Now back. The second Jeff base. McNeil up now for the Mets. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. That catches the zone for a strike. 0 and 1. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a double, fourth hit of the night for him. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every walk you take. You have good balance, ball directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. And now here is Brandon Nimmo. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Man on second, two down. Now one walled one. into one. The one one is fouled off. Two outs. And that's downstairs and outside. That one misses, and that's ball three. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets to it on the first. That completes the strikeout, inning over. Mets strand one. They leave this one, though, 5-1. I can't trust that life online. I want that. Welcome back to the ballpark. 
We go to the ninth. Now the third baseman, Nick Senzel. And he deals. That one way inside. The 1 0. Just missed. That one at 95 missed up top. Three and O. Oh. Fastball for a strike. Pick a bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Kicks and deals. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair. Body hooks foul. He's two outs away. Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run in the game so far. Yeah. That's through there for a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. One down, base is empty. Ball one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right hander kicks deals inside and it hit him. He had him one two and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. The center field man at first Dylan Cruz the next to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In the air, out towards right center. Taylor sizing this one up. Calls it in. And is two away. The of the Brady. So it's their last chance in this one. And the batter will be the shortstop, Brady House. Ground ball, and this should do it. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, for his first career save, deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere in a row. You just can't forget your first save. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.
Mike.